Greetings, people. Um, I made an exodus from my state because I lived in a city that was actually pretty hard hit <laughs> with the coronavirus, and at the same time, it had a 5G thing. But I don't, I don't, I don't know what to go for. What is happening concurrently? Let's talk about that. Concurrently, in March of 2020. We are on the threshold of humanity breaking free because we now understand the systems are broken and they only work for a few. <laughs> sure, sure, people can do all right and make good and have, have livelihood and actually advance up. They can, they can do that. But at what cost? You know, if our society is, is financially um, giving certain type people, it's giving certain people financial reward and it's not giving others financial reward. This is a general blanket statement. The reason why I'm saying that, this is what I'm setting up. Pay attention to your own spiritual evolution right now. Wherever you've been on your path, it's not like you just jumped in here. <laughs> if you found me, it's because you probably had sleuthing around and wondering what has been going on this planet and, and you also see yourself as a warrior. You know that you are strong on many different levels. But I gotta tell you, I'm on the East Coast, so driving up 95, I could not wait to get off of it. The energy on that, I, I could. I was never more happy to get out of my car when I reached my guy's house, and the beautiful violas that the Johnny Jump Ups that are natural that I've been nurturing and loving and coaxing to existence were there to greet me, and it was so beautiful. And I just went down with them with my palms, and I said hello, and, and it was like a homecoming. They're like dancing in the wind. Seriously, I had, to, I had to get off the highway and lean up against a tree. I was going into full-on tetany. My hands were going like this, and then my, I, I drive a stick shift, so I have, a, a, I have to use my legs. <laughs> we all do when we drive, unless you know it's equipped. Mine's not equipped. I actually have to have like both legs functioning. Here's the Italy, man. Those people. Bottom. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> What's going on with Italy, man? What's going on with Italy? Anybody got the inside scoop? <sighs> mm. This isn't funny. People are dying. You know what Italy went through in World War II? <sighs> they were occupied and shit. People weren't having a good time. They had, you know, food shortages. So we have this entire, we have a, we have a spike. We have a spike and the emotional discord of human existence. And it's so 100% palatable that I'm going down 95 and I feel as though I had to put on the stops. Like I had to, I had to get my, my tetra heat. I just had to keep breathing it off. Because you could feel it. People are afraid. We're all afraid of the unknown. This is Sunday, this is the Sunday after our um, vernal equinox on the 21st, excuse me, on the, on the 19th in the West Shore. Was it on the 18th anyway? It was early this year. Because <laughs> um, the earth goes by her own cycles round, not lines and squares. Think way outside the box. There is no box. So, okay. Um, I've been in this ascension game for a long time, okay? It is a game. And I am playing to win. And it's just like some of those um, movies that we've seen where you find, the characters find themselves in an unlikely situation like Jenga, whatever it is where they're in the game. 
wake up, you're in the game. You're in the game. And here's the fun part, the not so scary part. If you were born now and you're here, you are equipped for this. You are equipped. Some of us are better off than others. My guy has a house. We can separate ourselves from people. We can um, grow things in the garden. Uh, also, there's a, there's a lesser 5G network. And we have fresh air off the water. Here's to that. Why do you think Italy got it? Because everybody's so close. Did the 5G zap them? Does the President of the United States have a, a grievance with Italy? I don't know. I don't know what was going on. He keeps calling it the Chinese virus and everybody else calls it, um, and, and his VP calls it coronavirus, but out there in press land, it's the stupid COVID word. Like, no, co-ed, COVID, viv, no, fuck you, virus. Fuck you. May, may, your, may your fucking crown bust off. <sighs> we are giving it so much power. And the, and the press is behind it. Basically, if you, take, if you look at this like it's a huge simulation in a reality game, don't go crazy, man. Because here's the other fun thing, which I'm getting to, <laughs> and why I was getting tetany. We are getting hit with such a galactic wave of energy. This is not spiritual bullshit, new age mumbo jumbo. This is the real deal. I had been seeing, and others out there, I'm sure, had been seeing like sparklies, like sparkles. Like when you go outside, you actually see sparkles. Now last night I looked up the word corona and I already forgot what it meant. But the sun is, is involved. Now, we've got the people that are the grand solar minimum, the grand, uh, people that are reacting to that, right? Um, Oppenheimer Ranch Project. What a funny guy. He's smart and entertaining. And then he has done an interview with Paul Cottrell. But I still have to take a, a, a big, huge step back, even from people whose work is highly researched, way more intelligent than myself, the intuitive. Um, and yet they're preppers. You know, Paul Cottrell is, st is staying in New York. My daughter just left. Her and her boyfriend are taking it, it someplace else. They, they got out of there. This is, what the, this is what she said about New York City in America. Um, that people were holding other people up at gunpoint, taking their cars so that they could get out of New York. And then other people are robbing people and taking their supplies already. <sighs> the crisis brings out the character of every human being. Now, I'm not freaked out about dying from this stupid virus, okay? I am more worried about being inconvenienced. And yeah, I've never lived through wartime, but I've heard about it. And uh, this is it. Step up to the plate, people. Put on your big girl panties if you're a lady. Your jog strap. Yeah, these are real tears. Because this is also a spiritual war. This is one in which we get to accept ourselves. We get to come alive. Now the way I got up from North Carolina to Virginia was uh, I had to pull off to the side of the road. I held a tree because I started going into tetany, which I've experienced many times before. Heart palpitations. <laughs> um, and 
lack of muscular control. Now, I haven't experienced that for a long, long time. The first time was um, when I had sex with my boyfriend in college. And it was such an intense Kundalini experience. That's how my body responded. And then later, it was during a network, network chiropractic section. Another time, it was during a energy clearing with sound heals, sound healing. Um, another time, it was when my guy and I went to Corolla Beach during a Northeastern, there were nobody else in their right mind, <laughs> was out on the beach. And we pull alongside it, and like the water was like lapping up, like basically... <laughs> When we came out of there, I was in full-on tetany. I was like, we got to stop. we got to stop. Well, what I find when I get those heart palpitations in the, in the muscular, it actually like sort of cramps up. Like you'll feel, okay, a zinging like on your lip. You might feel a pressure right here on your temples, right? And if any of this applies to you, I'm telling you it's okay. It's not coronavirus. It's, you're getting buzzed with galactic energy because that's where I'm going with it. We're being handed some of the most magnificent galactic energy at this very same time. <laughs> it's like, I'm getting fried. <laughs> so, it's a cloudy day and every single time I saw the sun, it was like, ah, oh, the sun, the sun. And I discovered this as I was driving down the road trying to feel not bad because I, I had to breathe some stuff off, I tell you. Okay, I got off the road, I was a full on, I plunged out of the car. <laughs> I, I pulled into a um, abandoned uh, business um, that looked like it had been closed for decades. And it was across from a gas station and nobody was coming in and out. So I went, to, pulled in um, and there was a tree and I went up and leaned up against it and then held it and just whoo, breathed. And then, you know, ballet stretch, and I had to go back and forth and back and forth and, and stretch. And then I squatted behind the business to pee because Paul Cottrell, Dr. Paul Cottrell, headquartered in New York, he said um, that uh, fecal matter and the odors of other human beings' excrement carries the virus. Is that true? I don't know. But using a public restroom has its risks. <laughs> That's supposed to be one of them. Now, meanwhile, I believe we do have a germ. But here's the kicker. Each one of us is programmable. If you never realized that you were actually a human operating system and you could operate on operating, op operating system love for an operating, oh, operation system fear, then you would discover that you, you could seesaw back and forth, back and forth, but if you stayed on the side of fear, it's stagnation, right? It's um, inability to act, and then you die. <laughs> this is do or die times, man, do. Do what you can do. Do up, do up. <laughs> I, I was driving, okay, heart center. Invite in your higher self. Connect to mother, center of your body to hers. Go to the, to the sun, which I couldn't see very much today, so I would take in the light. You know, whenever it was a break or I saw a field, because I'm not, I don't live in the city city, that was green. I turned the green into my eyes. There were these purpley trees. Um, they're beautiful. I'm not sure what they are, crepe myrtles, but they're purple right now. I took that, that, that lavender in, you know, the green, you know, just oh, slow down the heart, slow down the heart. So what I'm saying is that you're not dying if you're having, you see flashes of light, um, you get buzzes in your head. It's, it's, it feels like um, your body is a wire, like it's, like it's, like it's just plugged in. Um, get outside. Sit on the ground. Put your both hands, both hands on a tree. Okay? It, it's, um, the energy is definitely exponentially, you know, getting higher. Now, in the meantime, my guy, he watches the news. So I, I, I would tune out of it myself. But I think it's wise to understand what 
the mainstream media, corporate owned and run by the elites want us to believe, right? Well, it is a very serious thing, but at the same time, you have an ascension going on. Don't let them, um, you know, steal your ascension energy. Don't let them fool you. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. And do not take what I'm saying out of context. Okay? But if you know your body well enough, you'll know um, what was going on with you. If I hadn't, and you won't freak out, and you won't put yourself in urgent care. Now, if you have to go, go. Please, I am not giving medical advice. I'm not suggesting anything. And you can't tell somebody, that woman on the internet, she said, it's nothing urgent, and then my mother died. Because uh, I am not that powerful over anybody, okay? This is person to person sharing. And I've been in more than one little powwow. I've been in sweat lodges. I have had shaman, shamanistic dreaming. I have had all kinds of things go down. So this is not my first rodeo. So if somebody's having some of the experiences that I was having in going down the road, they never would have made it down the road. Okay? So you, yourself, and you have to get a clue. You have to know your body. And I'm being adamant about that. Because do not take this opportunity to grow and, and, um, and, and recognize, yeah, there are people that are freaking out. There's fear going on. There's a lot of energy. We're, having a hit, we're being hit by a galactic wave. Um, we're going into the seeding of humanity. We're in the flesh of the 2020. We're in the last awful grip of the Kali Yuga. Where the bad people get to rule. We're having a reset. Everyone's having a two-week reset, two, two reset, at least. I'm looking at it that way. Um, could be six weeks, you know. Dr. Paul Cottrell, um, it's so biblical, he actually recommended 40. <laughs> and then we go back to Jesus. 40 days and 40 nights, you know. How did he do it? How did he fast? So if we have to fast, we have to fast. I put enough weight on this year with my beer, because you all know I like beer, that I don't really have to worry <laughs> Uh, you know what though? Two months. I, I could actually eat very little for two months. I could. I could eat very little for two months and I'd end up gorgeous. <laughs> I just have a little bit, guys. I'm not going to show you. It's like, yeah. If you guys see me dancing? <laughs> there's like, there's like, look. My, my head is big. My body, yeah. I see, it's like, it's just, it's this... It's this depth of field here. Like, see? Hand. Big hand. Oh, I'm so fat. I'm um, thin and perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. See? So it's the depth of field. So videoing um, is actually quite um, deceptive, you know? I don't, you know, sometimes I, I, the videos I do, I look really old. I don't care. I mean, I'm vain a little bit because I, I do like, you know, to present a wholesome pat. I mean, a, a Palatable to the, easy on the eyes, easy on the eyes. We all, uh, at least I, I imagine people want to um, look their best. But I don't always go, go get all gussied up. Okay, this is day one of hair being washed, so whenever that happens, I always have perfect cools, but per perfect um, curls. But a subsequent video tomorrow, I won't have those. So I get to enjoy this. If I wash my hair every day, then I would have this, like, you know, glossy locks. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? They are. Um, anyway, enough about me. I do love myself. I'm just encouraging people to love themselves enough to uh, awaken, awaken your superpowers. You know, now's the time. Um, the virus, like, is, okay, it reminds me of X-Men. Um, we're not going to get wings and turn purple and like be able to do all these magnificent... Actually, maybe somebody can. I'm not going to discount it. What I'm going to do is um, and continue to be delighted that I had a whole bed of... I had a whole row of um, violas saying hello to me. And there's a story there. Because the first year I lived here, my guy had a neighbor who was a hack job and... He was an ex-heroin addict that had absolutely no um, 
ability to think past grass. So he didn't realize that I was propagating and encouraging the violas naturally, and he hacked them all down. And I cried tears. Uh, and I, and I, um, I moved away for two years. And every year since uh, I've been coming back, the violas are there in ever-increasing numbers. <laughs> and I'm so delighted. So I, I got out from my car and my guy and I were like, wow! And I was like, woo! Because I ended up beating him home, even though I stopped for a breather, because I took a faster way and I drove like a bat out of hell. <laughs> a cat out of hell, more specifically, right? Yeah. So, okay, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, all is well. Um, go ahead and be sure to get outside and ground and pull the energy in. So you want to connect higher self to heart, heart to earth, you know, sun and the galactic core. I want to bring all of that together. I'm wrapping up now and I'd like to thank everybody. And um, I'm, I'm done now. My guy's here. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with him and talk and find out what's up with him.